So what are we doing today? What are we doing? Um, we are making a spring vegetable matzo ball soup. This is Charlie from the JFK Library and uh, we're here and we're still thinking during the closure of how to continue living well at the library and um, I thought I would make soup for my co-workers today. Everyone was super excited yesterday and we all have kind of limp looking vegetables in our fridge. What is a great way to um, get rid of those? put them into a soup it forgives a multitude of sins so we have a hodgepodge of stuff here that I'm excited to use some of and not use some of and the, so the point is whatever you have in your fridge at home whatever you like for your soup um, you can put in it so like vegetable sizing is totally up to you I like things a little more like rough and rustic if you like to do the French brunoise and chinoise, you can do it that way as well. Okay, so while I peel this stuff now, I'm gonna start lightly sauteing. We're gonna basically, quick run of show, we're gonna lightly saute all these vegetables, we're going to pour water on them, we're going to add some spices, and we're going to have soup. It's really as simple as that, and that's why I am here trying to encourage your creativity. So I have coconut oil because I thought it would be fun. Um, any sort of oil you want to use, butter, olive oil, vegetable oil, whatever is in your depleted pantry at the moment, once again, is the right thing to do. There's so many right ways to put a soup together. Okay, the onions are soft and translucent. Everything else can cook in the water and the broth. So let's see what we have. Yep. Let's put this whole thing in. Just as much water. It's really up to you in terms of like how much water versus how much broth, if you have some bouillon around. a little bit and cover it because we want to bring to a boil now and um, probably like 20 to 25 minutes. Boil until vegetables are soft. So it's taking a few minutes but it is going and we've got time so this would be a good time to sit down and read a book to one of your loved ones or take a stretch break. We've been taking stretch breaks at the library. Take a walk around the block or walk your dog and we'll be right back with you when this boils. Vegetables are looking pretty translucent. What I'm gonna do is eat, uh, is kind of not on one of those bigger hunks of parsnip because they are gonna be one of the densest, slowest cooking vegetables. So obviously they, they need to be cooked through. And once they're in a good place, I know that everything else in the pot is in a good place. So they're... It's good. Yeah! I think I am gonna add the matzo balls in now. I'm gonna get back to a hotter boil. So as I said, this is a uh, Manischewitz pre-made mix. Um, it is available in your local major grocery store. Oh, it's very important. I would be doing my mom, Carol, and my aunt, Tracy, and my grandma, Git, and my great-grandmother, Nye, wrong if I use the spoon to make matzo balls. This is something that um, should always be made with your hands. Um, and for me, it's a connection to those people. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a handmade craft. So let me put these clean gloves on. Pre-made matzo meal powder, you add oil and egg to it. And um, what I was always taught by Great Grandma Nye is that the density is impacted by how long you touch them. I have no idea if this is a, um, 
a tale from the old country or if there's any food science behind it, but I believe it. So you want to kind of work quick when you make matzo balls and that will keep them fluffier. And once again, make them to your liking or the people you're making them for, they're going to expand a bunch. So I'm making like, I guess kind of like super ball sized. Like, and we just drop them in. And as I said, trying to not kind of compress or form too well. But once again, some people like a beautiful round matzo ball. Totally cool. Do it your way. just the way my family does it. Okay, okay so those need to um, cook. There's a raw egg in them and they need to, they're like a, a pasta sort of, a, that, that they will float to the surface when they're done. You can see that they're, they were pretty orange when they were in here and now they're getting inundated with soup liquid and um, getting bigger. So we'll let this at this kind of, see it's a, like kind of a medium boil. We'll give this like five minutes and, uh, and then we're done and we can eat. You get that the matzo balls look nice and big. You can see they've increased in size so quite a bit. Okay, I think we should serve lunch. Make this is the makery matzo ball soup. Is the name of this recipe. That's right. The makery makery matzo ball soup. <laughs>